Once upon a time, there were three little kittens, and their names were Mittens, Tom. Once upon a time, there was an old pig called Aunt Pettitoes. But Peter, who was very naughty, ran straight away to Mr. McGregor's garden. It is all about an old tailor who lived in Gloucester. Welcome to the world of Beatrix Potter. The tales of Beatrix Potter have been lovingly recreated from her own exquisite paintings. Tales that have enchanted generations. Step into her timeless world with this series of award-winning animated stories. What do you think of this then? When Peter Rabbit ignores his mother's warnings... Don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. Your father had an accident there. There's trouble in store. Mr. McGregor! Stop, thief! Come back here, ya wee pest! He was put in a pie by Mrs. McGregor. Uh... The tailor of Gloucester is ill in bed. Who will make the fine coat for the mayor's wedding? She put out her horns like a little pile of hell and one tailor's Oh, joy! A miracle! When Pigling Bland is sent to market, it turns out to be the adventure of his life. All stay for supper. It's too late in the season for curing bacon. Come away, Bigwig. We will be Tom, Tom, the Bonebird's son, stole a pig and away he ran. Rather fetching, don't you agree? <laughs> Jemima Puddleduck wants to hatch her own eggs. If I had to make a nest right away from the farm. But a fox who offers to help... Madam. ...has other ideas. Now I'm certain I couldn't leave the care of my nest in better hands. Absolutely. There is no difficulty here. Kittens! Kittens, where are you? When Tom Kitten goes missing, his mother fears the worst. And I'm afraid the rats have got him. It smells sooty. Can Mr. Joyner save him from the clutches of the crafty Samuel Whiskers? Do hurry, Mr. Joyner. As Mrs. Tiggywinkle delivers the washing to all her friends, she finds that Jeremy Fisher has quite a tale to tell. What have you done to your poor fingers? Oh. Be good fishing today, I shouldn't wonder. But... Mercy me. It was a nightmare. <laughs> have I been so glad to see the light of day? And now there's a new addition to this collection of charming fables. Benjamin Bunny is grown up with a family of his own. I do not remember the separate names of their children. They were generally called the Flopsy Bunnies. And quite a handful they are too. <laughs> they are such bouncy bunnies and so untidy. He's coming! But some things never change. Mr. McGregor, for instance. I shall sell them and buy myself a baggie. Rabbit tobacco! I shall skin them. Thomasina Tittlemouse, on the other hand, has problems of her own. Honey. Bothersome bees. This is an intrusion. Oh. Find out what happens in the tale of the Flopsy Bunnies and Mrs. Tittlemouse. What is going on here? Another classic from the tales of Beatrix Potter.